Okay, so we finish doing post processing using infusion, the side point positioning method in postback. In this note, I'm gonna use another method inside postback to post process data without using base station data. So I'm gonna save this, and I can see inside here I have infusion autonomous. Okay, so I'm gonna save as this project, save this project as infusion, but how to. It will take some minutes to save it, and then I will read some information about the inform infusion autonomous method. So here, this processing mode is used to process the observables and broadcast and families data from a completely autonomous ENSS receiver in addition to the initial data and optional non dns aiding data. Postpack MMS implements a tightly coupled integration of the internal and autonomous ENSS data and achieves multiple meter-level position accuracies that are typical of autonomous dns positioning. So we expect that this method will provide us the accuracy of one meter or more. Tight, tightly coupled integration allows the postback MMS as software to extract position information when the GNSS receiver track fewer than four satellites and thereby provide partial position error control. Postback MMS in uh, infusion autonomous mode processes RTCM type 19 differential correction if available to achieve meter level accuracy. And so we can see that um, so that means I think this method, um, the auto method here, the infusion auto method here actually it will use initial data, it will use, it will use um, NGSS data. It sim doesn't need to download any uh, any um, GSS tracking in February's method. I'm not sure why, what is the point for this method. But basically this method uh, can help us when the satellite the number of satellites is reducing even less than four satellites we can still have a solution of positioning so in some case or maybe we do like autonomous we do like survey under uh, a tunnel or something like that maybe the number of satellites is not enough or maybe in the forest or something like that I'm not really sure the application of this and show my experience and my experiment this method is at least accuracy method, the least accurate method uh, among uh, PPP, single base, uh, PPK, uh, uh, primary mm, marine star in this method. But let's give it a try to see uh, what we can get from, from this method. So in order to process this method is similar to infusion PPP, I actually don't need any base station data at all. So here I just import in the OSMV raw data recorded on the vessel of a hydrographic survey in the Fremantle Inner Harbour port here using OSMV um, 2220 uh, uh, um, um, integrated navigation system from, from Appendix company. So what I need to do is just go to GNSS initial processor, select uh, Infusion Autonomous and then hit run. That uh, seems very simple it run there and now it's, it's running and um, so this node is actually for me um, so that's why I organize the screen is is uh, it's like this because I'm when I'm working I, I organize my screen like this I have a 4k uh, screen so that's why I can see the screen in really really high resolution um, this is just a note basically the safe information for me um, normally if I make a tutorial for my teaching I'm gonna increase the resolution and then so everyone can watch it and uh, everyone my student can watch it from a, a, a mobile device as well but for the purpose of this video I just know it for myself actually because I, I remember that I know something five years ago or something that I learned five years ago and then after several years I don't use this and then I completely forget it so this kind of video can help me to remind myself oh how to do that and as well and it is so really interesting that some of the things that are for, at the moment I understand the level of understanding of the topic 
because it's not as good as after five years. I rewatch it and I see, oh, I made a, a wrong and a crazy mistake. I didn't know that. I remember when I was in Vietnam, I was teaching a GNSS class or ocean mapping class. A lot of the concept is not really wrong, but I don't really understand it deeply. But I was teaching undergraduate student with the best capability at the time that I understand about the topic. And it's interesting. And a lot of the thing that after five years and ten years I watched and my, my my lecture again. And I learned something that I oh I forget completely. Oh I didn't know that at the time I know that topic. I know that thing uh, and then now I completely forget it. So again this note is for that purpose. So after processing, uh, smoother processing, uh, an SPS file is going to be right into one location, which is in the location like that location here inside this infusion mission prop. So I can find it inside here after processing, infusion and processing. If I sort it by size, I can see uh, an SPS file here. So this, with this file, I can put inside i can zoom in a little bit with this file i can put inside other hydrographic surveying processing software such as chimera or canvas to improve the navigation or accuracy of the european data so it's finished and we can see here the you can see here the position accuracy is up to one meter so let's go to report and make a report uh, I need to change the location of report from Infusion PPP to Infusion L2 and I save the report here. I need to override the report. It takes us uh, about one minute to generate this report. Uh, I think at the same time I record the video, at the same time I also running the jump cut here using my Python script to make the video uh, to remove all the silent part of the video so I can when I watch it I can set my time I don't need to wait for the silent part of it which is a great uh, I, I wrote a bunch of uh, Python script here to do that for me uh, one year ago and it's really helpful I, I do it all the time now when I, whenever I record a video so that's why it's a bit slowly but it's finished so I can copy this and I can open the report here using uh, Microsoft Edge. So here uh, the processing methods infused in autonomous. I want to see the what I want to see is the level of accuracy achieved by this method in both uh, horizontal direction and vertical direction. So go to this page we can see here which is uh, smooth performance matrix position arrow IMS so we can see here um, for this method uh, so we can see that inside here inside here the estimation of accuracy here is not really accurate because this is some final accuracy we can see that with this method the level of vertical uncertainty is 2.5 meter which is really not good so <coughs> And the level of, um, of, of north position arrow here is 1 meter, which is not good enough. And is here not good enough. So we can see that for this method, it's, it's, it's not an, a good option because it's even less accurate than the real time positioning method. Um, but my question is that if I don't have as fast correction such as Marine Star, Omni Star, is this better? I don't know because all the data I have here which is corrected using SBAS such as Marine Star or Omni Star. But it's good to know this is available method and good to know the level of accuracy that it can provide us uh, when we don't have a base station set up. But again, the accuracy of horizontal accuracy achievable is 1.5 meter, uh, but vertical 170 is higher, normally it's higher than 2.5 meter. And then I need to make a report uh, based on that. Normally I do the same. I'm going to go to here and go to a smooth aspect, display it, and then I export it to not infusion, it should be inside auto mission report. And I can um, basically this horizon token. I can um, I can say that it's how to infusion which is horizontal uh open square arrow. And we do another one here which is vertical open square arrow infusion auto. You can see that uh, it's not very good. Real time is better. The real time here is 0.4 meter. Well this in real time 0.5 meter is still better than that. And then I can save this 
and I can finish for this method which is uh, processing in post pack without a base station using infusion autonomous in um, in post pack LMS.